back to Espresso Coffee Shop. Today we're presenting a new coffee machine, the new R58 from Rocket and we thank Rocket for sending us one of the first um, units available. Um, so this is a new uh, coffee machine, uh, the evolution of the old R58 V2. Um, as you can see, uh, it's very uh, similar um, to the old one, uh, but if you look closer, there are some uh, new uh, features uh, that you will notice. First and foremost, uh, the new feet, which I reckon are a great piece of design compared to the old ones. Uh, we have a new PID, uh, which now it's completely uh, digital. Um, you will, we will talk more uh, in depth about that uh, later because it has many new features uh, available. Uh, inside, well, it's the same copper dual boilers, uh, one 1.8 uh, liter and the other one 0 0.58. Um, and it has the new um, chronometer here, which um, has been used in the Giotto and the Mozzafiato machines lately. Um, and well, yeah, that is the uh, all basically all the new things that uh, you need uh, to know about it. Uh, if we look uh, closely on top here, we will have a new uh, cup reel. This time it's just like in the Mozzafiato, it's fixed compared to the old one, which you can remove. And there's not anymore this lock that there was before, it's like a clear uh, surface uh, which makes it look even cleaner. Um, the drip tree is also a bit bigger, the new one. So we have removed the old V2 to focus on the new R58. Uh, as we said, minor changes, um, the biggest aesthetical change that we can say uh, that has happened and that we like the most is the new feet. Uh, however, the biggest change probably and the real game changer of this new machine is the new pad, how they call it, which is completely different from the one that was present in the old V2. And I'll show you what I mean by this. Now, here you will see, first of all, the fact that it's touchscreen. And the first thing that it will display to you is the temperature of the steam and brew boiler. Um, basically, you can change it. This is the brew boiler. It has quite a wide range. It goes from 90 and there is a red line that shows you what is the end point, which is 100 in this case. You can do the same thing with the steam boiler, regulating the temperature. Um, if you don't need uh, the steam boiler, you can turn it off. Of course, if you are in the US, you can select degrees Fahrenheit. We will stay with Celsius for now. And then there is a general menu that you can access. The boiler we just saw. Then there is the echo mode, which you can turn on or off. Basically, the echo mode uh, turns off the machine after half an hour. It has to be fitted in all the new machines as an EU regulation, but as you can see here, you can turn it off very easily. Now, another important feature that we have is the calendar. Now, the calendar allows you to turn on and off the machine two times a day, every day. So, let's say it's Monday and I want to have my coffee early in the morning at 7, I can just turn it on at 7 or turn it off when I'm not using it anymore, maybe at 8. For the same reason, when I come back from home, maybe I want to select the option to turn on the machine, maybe at 6. And for the same reason, you can turn it off at 9. Now, you can do the same thing here for every day. And if you need to copy, you can copy the mode on every other day that you want and apply it. All right. Then, well, what do we have? We have the date and time, of course, which you can set easily. You have the option, of course, to have either tank water supply or direct water supply. And then finally, you have the language, which you have a wide choice between what you can select.
And yeah, th this is basically all you need to know about the new pad system. Now, another feature that I mentioned before was the timer here. Now, if we start brewing, you will see that in the pad, the time will start to run, just as in the timer. So what's the sense? Why two devices to show you the time? Well, this is part of the uh, design philosophy that uh, Rocket wants to implement in its machine, giving the choice to the customer on whether you want the pad or not. For instance, if you don't like having the pad here, you can take it off and notice it's finally a USB connector. And here there's a magnet which allows you to put on or off the pad. You can remove it and have simply the timer showing you the time, the brewing time. This allows to have a much cleaner uh, design in the machine. So if you don't want to uh, have the pad uh, because it doesn't maybe uh, look as clean as without, you can always use it without. Now we have seen the machine on the outside. Now let's take a quick look of how the inside of the machine is. Of course we have taken off already the screws. It's quite hot still and now here you can see the double boilers at first um, one is for the steam and another one is for the um, brewing as you can see the brewing one uh, is um, a little bit uh, inclined because it uh, keeps a better temperature uh, stability uh, if we look very closely down there, you can see that there is the um, rotatory pump. And here, of course, is where you fit the tank. You can have tank or direct water uh, connection. Uh, it's everything, as you see, the pipes and the uh, boilers are made out of copper, which keeps better um, temperature stabi stability. And yeah, this is how the new R58 looks from the inside. Your R58 is already as beautiful as it is. But what if you want to make it more personalized and with premium materials? Well, we started working since some months with Windman Manufacture and we will see uh, how this new R58 will come with this new kit that we have. The new kit, of course, is compatible with the V2, previous model of the R58, but even with the new one, as long as also the other ones, uh, the Giotto and the Mozzafiato or the Apartamento, all except the R91. So, why my manufacturer uses the premium and most finest wood. It's completely handmade by artisans. You can find also the card with the signature of who manufactured and who gave the final view. And you have a QR code here. So it comprises of two handles for the porta filters, of course, one for the single, one for the double, and two for the valves of the steam and the hot water, of course. And finally, you get also this small, which is the knob of the RE61 lever. So, after some editing, you can see that we have installed the window manufacturer. It's available in two different types of wood. This is olive, but it's also available in walnut, which is a bit darker in color. It looks wonderful, very easy to install. And other than the kit that you've seen, we also offer it with the stainless steel uh, porta filter head. So, this was our review of the new R58. Uh, what do we like? Well, we believe that the new design is uh, highly improved from the uh, new sleek uh, borders. 
to uh, the new uh, feet. Uh, we believe that the new pad is also uh, a new, uh, very interesting feature. The touchscreen is extremely uh, user friendly, and you can see that you have many different functions, uh, including the timer that allows you to uh, turn on and off the machine even two times a day, every day. Um, so yeah, we really enjoy this product and it's now available for sale in, in our website. So go and check it out uh, and thank you for following us. If you like this video, uh, please press like and don't forget to subscribe to our page.